The couple were married in July with Cressida later revealing the wedding was organized in two weeks. In the photo Harry and Cressida, 31, are pictured wearing woolly hats against a winter backdrop as they battle the countryside snow. There is a body of water in the background whilst Cressida is holding a drinking flask using a fingerless glove. Cressida was first introduced to Prince Harry by Princess Eugenie, a mutual friend. Following their breakup in 2014 the couple remained close and she attended his wedding in May 2018 to Meghan Markle. Due to coronavirus restrictions Cressida's own wedding took place with only 30 socially distanced attendees. No hymns were sung and guests were instructed not to speak loudly. Writing in The Spectator Cressida described the occasion as a more intimate and special day than we could ever have imagined. However she revealed there were a number of setbacks in the run-up to the wedding. Just two days before she developed a red style on her eyelid which later required operating on and briefly got lost on the way to the wedding venue. The service took place at the luxurious Cowdray Park in West Sussex. Cressida got married wearing a £599 whistler's dress she found at the back of my cupboard, as lockdown meant she struggled to find a suitable dress on Oxford Street. She'd previously worn the garment whilst appearing in a James Arthur music video. In her article for The Spectator Cressida recounted the occasion in some detail. Describing her arrival at the venue she wrote, We were greeted by the vicar. This was her first lockdown wedding and she looked nervous. As Harry and I both have abnormally large families, 22 siblings and four sets of parents between us, it was impossible for them all to be there. But the whole time I just wished they were. This was the only sad part of an otherwise happy day. I am certain we value our family and friends even more when they are absent.